Hello Linux fans, Rob here and time for another community poll result video. But before we get into that, I want to give a big shout out to a longtime friend of mine, Holly Beck. Holly and her family uh, have been friends for many, many years and Holly actually watches a Linux Quest. And I don't think Holly knows anything about Linux, however, she watches the channel. So I just wanted to give you a big shout out, Holly, tell you thanks. and. Uh, I need to get over there and get you and everyone set up on Linux so you can get a taste of uh, Linux freedom there. So uh, anyway, thanks again, Holly. So let's dig into the poll results here. Uh, this week, we only had 148 vol uh, votes, volts, 148 volts, 148 votes. Now, I've done this one before, but I figured I would update it because a lot has happened in the Office Suite world. Uh, LibreOffice clearly is the winner here with 80%. Free Office coming at 7%. WPS Office at 11%. Caligra Office at 1%. And then we had Open Office at 2%. So before I get into the comments below, we have four comments, which is kind of low for a poll. I just want to uh, bring to your attention, typically once a week or so, I try to uh, post a community poll and then I'll, I'll follow up and do a video on that. So if you vote, take the time to vote, please leave a comment because your comment will be read in the video. And uh, it's also very interesting and helpful to other people to see these comments. So kind of be constructive if you can, um, you know, in your comment. And if there's something helpful you can offer, uh, by all means do so. All right, so Paul M, I like only Office quite a lot. So Paul, thank you very much. And he has three likes for that. Red Robo's Workshop, uh, he said, Hi, Rob, I voted for Caligra since I like and use KDE applications on the Plasma desktop. That makes total sense. Uh, using Plasma, I find staying with Qt applications the best where possible. And that is absolutely true. However, Cal Caligra lacks many of the bells and whistles found in more popular suites, but I really like the focus on the essentials and the clean interface. However, I also use MS or excuse me, Microsoft Office via the browser if I need to work on MS Office documents and retain full compatibility. And Rob, I appreciate that. And for viewers watching this, if you haven't checked out Red Robo's workshop, please do so. He does have some good Linux related content there. So uh, give him a watch. Now, I want to go back to what you said here, Rob. It's a huge point. Let's face it, Microsoft Office rules the Office world in, uh, you know, from on the corporate front. Um, so if you're working with a company, chances are you're working with Microsoft Documents. And retaining full compatibility within the structure of, let's say, the PowerPoint presentation or the Word document is key. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time going in and rearranging photos, shrinking things down, uh, changing text boxes and things like that to make it all fit within whatever given uh, application you're using, be it LibreOffice or one of the others listed here. So to that point, I want to point out some things on free office and we'll get more into that in just a minute. I'm going to finish up with the comments here, but there are some, some very key things to be aware of when you're looking at various office suites within Linux. So we'll kind of discuss that. All right. So, uh, even Linux, since I'm on KDE plasma, I gave Caligra a shot, but it ended up corrupting one of my spreadsheets. Not cool. So I added the not cool. So I went back to Libre. Luckily I had backups and yes, I'm glad you had backups there. Then also see, make sure I don't mess up your name here. Uh, Duber Ovnik or Ovnik LibreOffice. That came with my mint. Need to tweak a bit though, but it's free. And that brings up a very good point as well. LibreOffice, you will find pre-installed with many of the most popular Linux distributions. So Linux Mint, for example, and that is going to help with the popularity of the desktop, especially if you're a new user. Uh, perhaps you haven't uh, figured out how to add and remove programs. And if it's already there, chances are you're going to start using it and check it out. And maybe you'll stick with it. I want to talk about LibreOffice and in particular FreeOffice. I have actually been using FreeOffice quite a bit. So we're going to pop over and take a look. The last update was um, 9.5.2019 revision 970. And this was a big update because it added a feature for Linux 
in FreeOffice where you can now save your, um, your document in either Doc, XLS, or PPT formats. So that covers your Word, Excel, and PowerPoint formats for Microsoft Office and makes that fully compatible for someone working in your office using Microsoft Office. Lots of Office. <laughs> anyway, so previously you could only view those types of files. So that was a huge update for FreeOffice. And uh, the other thing I want to speak to with FreeOffice, so we'll just go ahead and pop over to the interface there. I have this pulled up and then we'll pull up to the right here, LibreOffice. Now they both have tabbed interfaces. And if you've used Microsoft Office, you know that this tab layout here or UI is something your muscle memory gets used to. And I happen to like it. But I just wanted to point out here, we have that set up for both LibreOffice and FreeOffice. And I happen to think that the free office tabbed interface is cleaner and better laid out than what we see here from LibreOffice. Now I'm thrilled to see it in LibreOffice because LibreOffice has had a ton of activity on the development side. And I just think there's a lot of momentum there and things just keep getting better and better with LibreOffice. But right now I'm really enjoying the, I guess the cleanliness, the just the way everything's laid out within the tabbed interface of FreeOffice. The other thing I'll speak to, and let's just go ahead and close these out, is that, well, let's see here. The latest update, just so you know, is LibreOffice 6.3.1. So uh, lots of activity there. All right, we'll go ahead and close those out as well, and we'll go back to the poll. The other thing I want to point out is I have experimented between LibreOffice and free office with primarily complex PowerPoint documents. And so far, it just seems like free office does a better job at maintaining the structure of the, um, the structure of the PowerPoint. So within LibreOffice, I may have to go in and readjust some of the photo sizes, image sizes, maybe uh, scale the font a little differently. But within free office, it seems to open up and hold the structure from the office document better than LibreOffice. And I really did not expect that, especially on the last update, because that was one of the things I believe that LibreOffice was uh, focusing on, was trying to, to do a better job with keeping that structure uh, from Microsoft Office. So what I have found just personally here is that I've been using FreeOffice more than LibreOffice. Now both of these, and I used to be a big WPS Office fan, you know, the nice thing is here we've got great choices. A WPS Office is certainly a good choice, uh, but right now I have been using FreeOffice more than any other Office suite. That's just me personally. And I'll tell you what brought that on. So um, uh, Manjaro Linux recently came out and they were going to, by default, have FreeOffice pre-installed. And I don't know if they got flack for it or whatever. People were upset by that because FreeOffice, uh, they do ask you to register to keep it free. You can use it free for personal use, but it is not a um, you know free and open source only software. They do have a business model in place. They do offer their software for Windows and Mac users and there are levels that are paid for. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. I hope more people who provide Linux software figure out ways to make money doing it. I am a capitalist at heart. I see no issues with that. So, you know, maybe some point at Li uh, LibreOffice comes out with something that as a bonus feature or whatever, you pay for it. If you want to buy something extra that they're offering that may help you, have at it. When Manjaro decided that they were going to offer it now it's an option. So if you go to install the latest version of Manjaro, you'll find an option during the install process for LibreOffice or FreeOffice or no Office Suite at all. And I think that's a fine compromise. In fact, I would like to see more distros do something like that. Um, back in the days of Interagos, you had an option for multiple things during the install process. All right, so we've covered everything. Uh, again, if you uh, will just kind of keep an eye on things, I try to do, as far as the community poll is concerned, I try to do a poll at least once or twice a week. And if you come in and you vote, please leave a comment, especially if it's something that you think is going to be helpful to others 
because I typically will do a video on the poll results and I'll read your comment for the video. So, you know, be constructive and be helpful if you can. All right, we'll wrap it up for now. As always, thanks for watching and we will check you later.